earlier, even traditional, what we call legacy media, was very critical of the powers that be. And you don't see that for some reason anymore. So even when questioning the cops, whether reporting on what is happening was people were willing to take risks and all. Now you see that with independent media, of course, does it. But do you see that shift or is it that? You see, uh, I've, there's a larger comment, hmm. which is about how uh, the judiciary and journal, I call them the two J's, hmm. judiciary and journalism, they are the only two pillars on which an entire system, an entire democracy can actually survive. You know, one, yeah. if one goes slightly lopsided, uh, you will have uh, an uneven, uh, you know, you will almost live in an undemocracy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think that's that's the larger comment, you know, that uh, a compromised uh, press mm. uh, is so, uh, is so detrimental uh, to the growth of uh, democracy, yeah. you know. Fortunately, I mean, you know, the independent media, there is, there are checks and balances, but I wish it was, uh, yeah. it was larger that, you know, that the, the press did what it was supposed to do, to speak to the people yeah. and to the people in power, truthfully.